In this video, I'm going to show you the report register. I'll talk about how you can add a new transport as a means to getting the data you want in the format you need, and I'll show you how to add a new report to the register so that you can receive the report by email on a regular basis. So to begin, we'll click on the Reports tab and select Report Register in the menu. The first thing you'll notice is the list of reports in this pane. These are the four default reports we set up in the register for all new accounts. The Sales Activity by Batch report gives you all the sales on your machines from the previous day. This report will be emailed to you every morning. The Payment Detail for EFT report provides the gross sales numbers the fees taken, and the net total of the deposits sent to your bank account. We send you this report each time you are paid the revenue from your machines. The transactions included in the FT report will give you the same numbers shown in the payment detail report, and it will also add a breakdown of the individual transactions for which we're paying you for the pay period it covers. Now, in order to understand the pending payment summary report, you need to know that your machines need to make a net revenue of $25 or more in order for us to send a deposit to your bank account. So if for whatever reason your machines were unable to generate at least $25 in net revenue during the previous pay period, we'll send you the pending payment summary report instead of the payment detail for EFT. This report will look very much like the payment detail report, except that you'll see the word pending in a couple of places on the report. And once your machines have made at least $25 in net revenue during a pay period, we'll pay you that amount plus any additional revenue that accumulated for the period leading up to the payout date. In addition, when a deposit is sent, the next payment detail report will include all the data the pending payment report contained, as well as all the sales numbers for the current pay period. Now, if you'd like to have additional reports sent to you, click the Create button here, and then you may choose from a variety of reports listed in this menu. The Device Health Report is a good one to receive, as it shows you the last cash sale, the last credit sale, the last time the device reported, etc. And you can choose when you want to receive the report by clicking the frequency drop down, and you can choose daily, weekly, monthly, or select specific days. Another good example is the transaction line item data export report. This report will enable you to import your transaction data into another program you use in your business. I'm going to select the device health report. Next, choose how often you want to receive the report, then select an available transport, and come over to the left side and click Save. And you can see that the report is now added to the list of reports to be sent. If you need to, you can change the email address to which the reports are sent, or you can add other email addresses, or remove addresses if necessary. To do that, we click this drop-down for the available transports, and I will select this existing transport. Then we click this button to open the edit window. The transport name is merely a placeholder to identify the transport. It will be displayed next to your report on the left side. The transport type will be email, and you can edit or replace the existing email address for the transport in this field. You can add other email addresses in the CC field here to send the same reports under this transport to other people. You can also add new transports by clicking this button. Enter a transport name in this field, and then with this drop down, you can select a transport type. Most reports will need to be sent by email, but if you need the data to be sent directly to a particular program, you may need to choose one of the other types listed here. Enter the email address to which the reports in this transport will be sent. And again, if you want to copy others with reports, add their email addresses here. Separate multiple addresses with a semicolon. Check the box here if you want to send the data as a zip file. You can ignore these two fields and just click the Add Transport button. Click the X up here to close the window. You can see the transport now appears in the available transports list. And that concludes this video.